Hey guys, and welcome to Pitch Producers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quadratic residue diffuser. Whatever the hell that is. First, I started with a sheet of MDF about 6mm thick for a backing plate. This QR diffuser is designed to fit within my vocal booth, which you'll see towards the end of the video. The diffuser is mathematically designed to scatter frequencies down to a high mid of 870 Hz and will diffuse sound frequencies between 1750 Hz to 6880 Hz, which is within the female vocal range. Next, I cut the bottom and top plates, which holds the fins for each well. This diffuser is 91 millimeters deep. Typically for a larger room, you would go a lot deeper, say 300, 350 millimeters deep. Next I just laid out each fin to make sure that the tops and bottom plates aren't sticking over the edges. Generally you space each fin about 2 inches or 50 millimeters apart. In my case I'll be spreading them around 70 millimeters apart given the space that I have for them. Giving that time to dry, we'll be now moving on to cutting the spaces that go between the wells. This here is a diagram of my QR diffuser, taken from QR Dude, a program that works out all the mathematical calculations for proper diffusion. I highly recommend having two people for this part of the job, where I found it quite difficult just myself. Okay, so now that we've cut our packers, our spaces, they go in between each fin, remembering I've cut them roughly around 70mm, we'll be spacing them out, having a look to see how it all goes. Once I've spaced all of this out, then it'll be time for the glue and nailing. But I tell you, if I had a dado blade, I'd be able to cut the thickness of the 6mm fins into my backing plate and into my top and bottom plates, therefore having only just the glue. But given that I didn't have a dado blade, I'll be using a nail gun, which I wouldn't recommend because it's quite easy, you know, you can pop the nail out the side, but luckily for me that didn't happen. Alrighty, just make sure that each fin is square so that when your wells go in, the well plates, they go in nice and square and everything fits nice and snug. You don't want to have these fins crooked 
for your your well plate. All right, so now I'm going to cut a packer that goes from the backing plate inside the well for my my well plate to sit on top. Now my little QR diffuser um, or QR dude program has, has let me know how deep each well needs to be. So accordingly I've cut each packer to take each fin or a well plate, you know what I mean. to put some insulation within the wells, some of the deeper wells, because in my vocal booth there's not much room for bass traps and so I figured this might be a good opportunity to be able to suck up some of the bass frequencies that may occur within my vocal booth. Bass frequencies work on more of a pressure, so they'll just go right through the front fin plate. recommend 6mm or greater for a, a fin plate but given that I didn't have too much material I just decided to use a 4mm plate and I've just glued that on there. Alright so as we can see we just continue on following our little diagram on our packers and how deep we need to go. We just glue them in there and glue it all in. And here is the finished result. Plus the painting and whatever else you want to do to it. Now this diffuser was definitely a lot harder than I expected and it took me a lot longer than expected as well. So here we are, here it is in the vocal booth. I still have one to make above it as well. And here's the ceiling, that took a long time. So up next I'm going to show you the differences between having a QRD in a room as opposed to just having foam. And here is the finished product. Now straight away I can hear the differences. The QRD has a crisp sound whereas the foam just has a dull sound. Now I found that with foam the mid frequencies that's very important for an acoustic guitar just get sucked away and all the high frequencies and all the low frequencies stay. Hey thanks for visiting Pitch Producers and if you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in what I do please subscribe. I've got some interesting things coming up. I've got some more producing, some room acoustics, visiting other producers and seeing what they're doing. So if you're keen, I'll see you next time.